Hi, I'm Dave Painter. I'm nestled here in amongst the beautiful wildflowers at the back of the canoe trail just behind us there. This is our setting for this month's Wild Watch. Just now we're, we're right really at the very end of our breeding season and it's been a real mixed bag for us. Cold weather, really quite a poor season for the, uh, for the waders. You will see a few youngsters around, uh, avocets, oyster catchers, a few uh, young lapwing, but they've really not done very well at all. The rarer ducks, however, seem to have done very well. Several broods of potchard, several broods of shoveler around the reserve as well, so watch out for those. Wader passage is really starting to hot up now. Little ring plovers just recently, lots of green sandpipers. One of the best places in the country for seeing these birds uh, and they'll be peaking over the next, uh, next little while. But other waders starting to pass through now, flocks of, of dunlin in breeding plumage, green shank, um, all starting to appear in front of the scrapes. So it's the, the waders that we will be focusing on over the next little while. Another thing to look out for at this time of year is the wildflowers. Really colourful just at the moment, uh, a good community. We've got meadow sweet here, this lovely creamy white one, the beautiful pink greater willow herb, and I'm seeing hemp agrimony over there, a nice pink one, and fleabane, a yellow flower coming through. Very colourful just at the moment. You'll see these, these species all over the reserve. Today we're going to be talking about the midwife toads and they're an invasive species to the UK. People have kept them as pets and maybe they've decided they don't want them anymore so they've just released them into their gardens. Now they're quite a cool species because what they do is they spend a lot of time on land and when they breed the females will actually lay the eggs and the males will tangle the eggs around the back legs and carry them around on their back until they're ready to hatch. Once they're ready to hatch, the male will go down to a water, even if it's a puddle, small shallow ponds, and they'll deposit the tadpoles into the water. Like mentioned in other wild watches, females are bigger than the males. And with this species, there's no exception to the rule. So during the breeding season, the females, if you look underneath before they've actually laid their eggs, you can see their eggs internally through their belly. So the midwife toads have got another six months in quarantine before they can come out and join the rest of the collection and you guys can get a closer look at the talks and handling sessions. However, our bumblebee toads have just completed the six month period and they're out being used for our handling sessions and talks right now and you could get a closer look at them during the summer holidays, our 12.30 and 2.15 talks. Hello again and welcome to the Slimbridge Duckery. We're behind the scenes today to look at the white winged wood duck, an endangered species. These birds occupy the islands and coastal areas from northern India through Burma to Malaysia. It's estimated that there could be as few as 300 of this wonderful species and we're here today to talk a little bit about why I personally think this is a species close to my heart. Since I began here in 2008, it's been a personal dream of mine to help improve the white-winged wood duck situation. And we have bred a grand total of 60 birds since then. I've been very proud to help put them out on loan and exchange and share birds with other conservation teams around the country. And finally, we're now seeing a large turnover of this species each year, and they go towards the ERs of stud book. The stud book is a really useful tool which helps organise the zoos to make sure that they maximise the genetic diversity of this species for the future. We are lucky enough now to have a lovely group of this species on exhibit in the Asian pen. So it's now the dream of the duckery team, both on site and off site, to use this species to educate our next generation of visitors that conservation is important and species are worth saving. If you enjoy our videos, please like and share them with your friends. But most importantly, get out, enjoy the summer whilst the sun is shining.